horse ballet finally getting some attention at the Olympics. The sport has Ann Romney, Mitt's wife, to thank for that. We've got Pia Catton on the phone in London. So Pia, the sport of dressage, that is horse ballet, finally getting some attention out there. It's true. The attention that has come to dressage is you know, largely based for Americans on the presence of Ann Romney in this sport. She's the one-third owner of a horse that ran, that <laughs> didn't run. It uh, trotted, um, paced, it did its turns in front of about 30,000 people at a beautiful venue here. I mean, it, it's, it's as if we set up a giant arena within Central Park. It's beautiful here. Now, for people who don't know dressage or haven't ever watched, it's a very elegant sport. Uh, the, the riders having to sort of get the horses to move just and perform different maneuvers through very shuttle, subtle shifts in their body weight. Uh, tell us a little bit about how the sport got its start, Pia. Well, it's originally a military discipline, but it has evolved over time, and it's part of a wider equestrian program. Um, it's really based on precision. So these horses take very long time to train. I mean, when we talk about the Triple Crown, um, this, those horses are three years old. These horses are 10, hmm. 11, 12 years old. It's a very long process to get a horse to be able to do these very delicate movements. Now, some folks uh, sort of poke fun at the, the sport of dressage. Even some of the late night talk show hosts have been doing so, uh, in, especially in connection with the right. fact that Ann Romney <laughs> owns the horse. I, you know, look, I don't care what side of the fence you're on politically, there really is an art to this sport. And do you think that people are sort of coming to understand that now that they're watching it more with the Olympics? It has to kind of take on a different role, I think. I mean, it's not that removed from the center of the city, and it's not that removed I mean, in terms of the Olympics. Right. Um, the equestrian venue is just a, it's a very centrally located venue, and I, I mean, this doesn't look all that strange when you put it in the context of equestrian, so right. we'll see. I'm not sure what kind of effect it will have in the long term, but, you know, right now it's, it's kind of attractive. Yep, it is attractive and the horses are good looking too. All right, thanks so much for being with us Pia Catton. She is in London.